couch. We are. Bro up with Craig, Terry, woo, woo, and woo. I, Victor, Epa, Reese here. How does this cloud couch feel to you, Victor? Is it comfortable? This is the most um, comfortable couch. But I was going to answer that seriously and be like, you know, this is part of the best chair I bought in, in the last one. Oh. It was like literally from the street <laughs> that I sat in for like four years straight. Cool. So that's nice. That's nice for me. Okay. Uh, last we left off, we've, we didn't loop and talk about a book with Yuri. It's the first time I talked to her, I swear. Um, but now, but she ran off when, um, when, uh, we real when we were on to her about how weird she was being. So now we're reading poems without her. Uh, whose poems should we read? Uh, Natsuki. Oop. This time I don't have sound. I have sound. Oh, you do? Oh, pfft. yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, it's set. There, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> A little behind the scenes. I have to wear a separate headphone to hear the game. Okay. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably only fair that I share mine with her first. Mm. Uh? Droopy Dog, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then just go home. What the fuck? What? How is... What? 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 You expect me to believe you're just gonna put effort into this? Don't, do you think I'm stupid like you? I'm not a writer, jeez. Maybe you're just not good at reading. I mean, uh, but I put effort into it. We all start from somewhere, right? <laughs> if you're <laughs> all right <laughs> i know i told you before we started recording but i think now it's real i think i think i think the droopy dog voice it's over it's over post victor put was... put up a graveyard that's with the tombstone and um <laughs> do you think any new voice <laughs> it's it's your your health was ever <laughs> what's ever gonna help you <laughs> my health you don't want to um, dislocate your jaw. No, I don't. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, he's kind of like jockish, you know? No, nah, that doesn't work. Only because <laughs> at the end, he's just like, I know what's best. He was, yeah. Um, let's see. What if I did it? What if I did an accent I can't do at all? <laughs> oh. Like, like Jersey. Like New Jersey. <laughs> Or, or New Jersey. Nolans. Oh, no. okay. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just read it. You just read it. <laughs> if you were proud of the poem first, you would have wrote it. Then you would have liked to read it. <gasps> um, exclamation. <laughs> Painful to think about it. Yeah. Mmm, ellipses. Fine. Well, sorry. You you're damn right. Idiot. What? I tell you what to improve, but then we'd just be here all night, so you're better off trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Uh, anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Yeah, that's right. You You'll probably just think it's stupid. Come on, hand it over. Mm, that's right. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah, it's shit's wee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I told you you weren't going to like it. And I don't like you. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Why are you talking like that? Uh, because <laughs> everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. 
So people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't the point of poem for people to uh, express themselves. Isn't the point themselves? of poems is for people oh. to express themselves? No. If your writing style wouldn't make it a message and your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. I li I like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. I feel it. Yeah, but the other thing is that simple writing... The other thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Vibes. I guess more went into it than I realized. Yeah, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect for didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Nah. I decided to humor her with that last comment. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I don't really I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud then, I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Sorry. Choices, choices. Or decisions, decisions. Is that what you did there? Okay. I trooped out. So You having a good time so far with your new little voice? That's cute. Hella. Yeah, uh, yeah, good. Glad to hear it. Uh, by the way, since you're new and everything, if you had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or getting rid of a vice president or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? What do you mean by that? I Always. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'd be afraid to bring things up. I'm just better off not doing voices and just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. <laughs> anyway, you want to say you pulled me? That's real cute. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Trooper Dow. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's the sort of barrier we all learn to get past you. Yeah, it's true. I hand my... <laughs> I was gonna say I hand my Monica to my poem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great job, Trooper Dog. I, I was going ooh in my head while I was reading it, yeah. It's really a uh, meta but forkle. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me when we're when I keep uh ever the expectations low for everyone. That's why uh, I always count when I that's it always counts when I put some effort into it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's not very fair. Eh? Well, I, I guess it worked anyway. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Jury kind of likes your friend, right? Oh, I thought your cat was hissing at <laughs> Just yawning. <laughs> writing this for the imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like writing girl's mind is just totally detached from reality. Yeah, it's like from reality. a simulation. No. What was that? No, you keep saying that's great. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's like a bad thing, though. Sometra but sometimes you get the impression that she's just totally giving up on people. She spends so much time alone in her head that that's just probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets too happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being in total like that. You must really be starved for social interaction. So I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, when she freaked out at you. I think if she gets a little too stimulated in this simulation, she gets injured with the drowning and looking for alone time. You say simulation, right? Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? 
no, not really, just a real crap bone. Uh, well, anyway, uh, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. Yeah, you were in there for several hours, but there's no need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get to my poem now as Vice President. Anyway, uh, you want to read your poem, my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You, s you sound pretty confident you're someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident as president and the only president. Uh, it doesn't mean I feel that way, you know? I see. You know there's nothing wrong with having a vice president, right? It's kind of yeah, helpful. No, like, you know, no, some, sometimes clubs can take a whole no, like, load no. of work, and it's good to just no, kind of no, no, yeah, have just that poem, delegation to... No. Um, You're literally well, just a first body. Well, I'll, I'll, read, I'll just read this. All in one. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my feelings dripping out. But my, I, my bird eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat piece of paper? And the sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears dripping out. The, the room begins to crank, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates as it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Slowing in my fears, I brandish my pen, but how? No, I wouldn't just need. Hmm, it's very freeform? Is that what you call it? No, that's not what that means. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Yeah, I didn't think so, but it's okay. Yeah, uh, this kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, lots of poems we put an emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how to put it. Uh, maybe a death. Uh, I. You know, I guess I could say I had some kind what of epiphany that? recently. Did someone died? No, 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 no. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Who died? No, it, it was epiphany. I said something like that. I, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Cause they didn't die I'm, here, did they? No, who, what, why are you, no, no, okay, maybe if everyone just becomes better friends with each other, anyway. I think when it comes to deaths in the class, there should be a bit of transparency. Here's random tip of the day. Sometimes you write a poem or story, and your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try to make it too, if you try so hard to make it perfect, you're never going to show the progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. You just move the pen and go with the flow and nobody died. But what? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. See everybody later. What? Wait, hold on. Who did this black swipe in front of my eyes? Oh, oh, Yuri. Hmm. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri covers her mouth and ends up covering her whole face. Ah, you. He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's, I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate that you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? It's my first day here. But it's a huge compliment coming from you. This is, this is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares blankly at me, then looks at my palm again. Hmm. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there's a specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and have been through- I've been through that myself, and kind of learned 
to pick them or to pick up on that uh, yeah yeah i think the most noticeable thing i recognize in new writers is that they try to make their own style very deliberately in other words they tend to pick up on ryan's style separate from the topic matter and they form fit them two together the end result is a both the style and <laughs> expression of his are weakened when Siri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something that you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, and even a simple poem. Not just finding them, but building them, and getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes from practice, by learning and experience by learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in this club gave a fuck about writing poems like we do because they're, they're just slacking. Just slacking, you tell me. Especially Natsuki. Oh my god. Hey, what the fuck? B biased how? Uh, what? Never mind. I'm I shouldn't be talking about people like that. I, I kind of yeah, blew a gasket. Sorry, sorry, everybody. Yeah, apology uh, That's fine. No, I'm not, not sure if you're he's apologizing to yourself, to me, or to Natsuki. It better be me. <laughs> you, oh, you didn't accept it. You didn't accept it, Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri that smiles so dreamily, much. as if a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the umber glow. Bathing, it must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the, withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by a sickening blue-green hue of, of, the of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. Ah, flick it back. I'm sorry for having such a trouble What? That what? I wasn't thinking that at all. What the? He he took so time, long time to read. Uh, I just don't read script very often. Actually, I think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh? It's a relief. I also I like the poem, even though it's short. It's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to share something a little more mild. I'm actually really, really more intense than that. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo <laughs> hoo. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Droopy Dog. You silly, stupid little man. Yeah. Really? What? What? Why is everyone getting up on me? I, I, I must be totally missed. I must totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance it over after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. So it's not a ghost. It's not. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon after being left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's not really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. Saying it, Chief. If anything, he could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Why, why is it? What? Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Troopy Dog. Ah, uh, me too. Alright. I'm at 20, but should we finish this day? Yeah, let's finish this day. Phew! I guess that's everyone. The music's weird again. Oh. oh my god, you see that? What? What? Siori's in the fucking background and on the poster. 
on the poster? What are you talking the about? The poster in the background. <laughs> I don't... Oh! Oh, Siori! Oh, that's awful. I glanced around the room. <laughs> that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities, even if they're just being nice. There's no way my poems can upset. Has that always been there? Can upset. I, I just saw it. This is the literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. I guess you gotta like look around and see if things change. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Ugh. <laughs> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their res respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expression change. Natsuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri sadly smiles. What's with this language? Eh? Oh, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. It sure sounded like something. Natsuki dismissively I... returns the poem to the desk in one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. If uh, fancy's another word for shit. Uh, thanks? Yours is... Cute. Cute? Mm-hmm, that's what I said. Did you completely, like, miss the symbolism there wasn't or something? Any. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Yeah, just I like gave, I gave up on you yeah, right now. Yeah, just like I gave up on this poem, yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> how, how can that be cute? This fist I, in your face is gonna be cute. I know that. I yeah, love sure fists. I mean... I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh? You mean you were trying to say, try that? You mean you had to try that hard to say something nice? <laughs> Thanks. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Um, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. You, you people, wouldn't find anyone. People did, by the way. Monica liked it. Droopy Dog did too. He said it was the best thing he ever read. He also said you're stupid. I didn't say any of that. Yeah, so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Like, go eat shit. Oh, first of all. Excuse me. I think we did this joke before. I was about to say, I will eat, I will eat fecal matter on my own time. Thank you. I'm sure we did. <laughs> We're also looping. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring that's not you. Which I haven't. Wow. Uh, no, no. And Droopy Dog liked my own poem, too. He even told me he was impressed by it. Hmm. And Suki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Th that's not what I... It... You just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Drooby Dog appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? And that you're just full of yourself. I am full of myself. Rightfully so. If I was full of myself, which I just admitted I was, <laughs> I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overtly cutesy. You, 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 you. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Droopy Dog started to show up. N Natsuki! Yeah, let's see, you guys, that's a little hilarious, but, uh, knock it off. This doesn't involve doesn't you. doesn't involve you. Taking out your, taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as long as you look, Natsuki. Me? Uh, look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle isn't too much for someone of your, of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying it proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. 
If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance the toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? You're the only, the only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful you might cut yourself on the edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do that, don't you? <laughs> Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Droopy Dog hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Droopy Dog, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. You do that yourself. She started it. The uh, oh yeah, grieve ah uh, oh. Were you agreeing with? Yeah, I, I think, think so. that's what you're choosing. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you gotta do Yuri. Oh. Oh, <gasps> is it gonna make you choose Natsuki no matter what? Oh, you just keep getting closer. Okay, stick with it. Yeah. I don't like this. Oh! <laughs> the ship drooping out. Hey. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey, Drooper Gal. Hi. Why don't we uh, step outside for a little bit? Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay, yeah, great. Sure, back there, Drooper Gal. I uh, gave you a certain of try to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. And we'll go back inside after they're done yelling. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. here. Some president, I am right. Amazing. Not like that vice president. I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. Yeah, that's the issue. Uh huh. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others because I'm so nice. You understand, right? How nice I am? Anyway, if this makes you spend less time with the others, then that's fine. You can just hang out with me, trip it out. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the room. Oh my mm. god. She quickly runs away. Yeah, oh dear. Well, uh, anyway, it looks like they're done. Okay. Nothing weird in this room. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms in her forehead. Y Yuri? I didn't mean it. I I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Droopy dog, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Yeah, it's fine, Yuri. Uh, we didn't know you didn't mean it, whatever. Who cares? Uh, besides, I think Miss Yuki will forget all about it tomorrow. Completely. <laughs> anyway, uh, the meeting's over, so you can all go home now if you want. <laughs> Yuri looks at me like she wants, she wants to say something, but keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a bit longer. Yeah, I'm the president, so really, uh, I should be the last one out. You get the hell out of here. I'll, I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> well, I, I'm vice president, so let please let me take that responsibility today. Yeah, yeah it kind of sounds like you don't want me around for some, Jerry. It's, it's not that. It's not... I just... I didn't get that much of a chance to discuss my book with Troopy Dog. Yeah, that's it. It would be embarrassing with you listening. Yes, I, uh, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. I, um... Okay. <laughs> there you go, 20 out of 20. Here we go. Uh, should we break? Should we break the episode? Uh... Oh, are we at 30 minutes already? Oh, wow. Flying by. Okay. Flying by. 
All right. Next episode, we're going to write this poem to this girl that scares us. Yes.